Pixies, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 15th of June to the 15th of July. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So for you Pisces in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge is the Four of Pentacles, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Swords upright. So your biggest challenge here, Pisces, has a lot to do with the Four of Pentacles. I feel with the Four of Pentacles, there's definitely a strong energy here of you still holding on to something, okay? It may be hard to let go of this situation. We're gonna clarify it and get more information for you in a moment. In the recent past, you have the Justice, you have the Ten of Wands, and you have the Queen of Cups. So I feel like in the recent past for you, um, there's definitely something here about a situation coming to an end. Some of you got a divorce here in the recent past, or um, there was an opportunity maybe possibly to work things out with someone here from the past. I do see a lot of love here. You had a lot of love here for somebody here in the past. Could have been a Sagittarius, maybe a Libra, or another water sign, Cancer, maybe a Scorpio, or another Pisces. We're gonna find out more about this for you in a moment. Present moment, you have the Hermit, you have the Four of Cups, and you have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like there is a new opportunity coming in. A lot of you don't see this opportunity coming in. You could be ignoring it. And the reason why you may be ignoring this opportunity is because a lot of you want to spend more time on your own or you're still getting over something here that really affected you um, in the past. And we're going to find out more about that for you in a moment. Near future, you have the Six of Swords, you have the Queen of Pentacles, and you have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like in the, re um, in the near future for you, you're disconnecting from something here, okay? And it could be you disconnecting from... Um, a soulmate or a twin flame for some reason. We're gonna see why that may be happening. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the page of swords upright. So I feel like there's a lot of questioning. You're questioning something or you're spying on someone or someone's spying on you. So let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify the four of pentacles. Okay, so your challenge is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Your biggest challenge here is to determine whether or not you should continue holding on to a situation that doesn't seem to have the type of value that you're looking for. Some of you are still holding on to a relationship. There's nothing but conflict. There's nothing but problems and issues. And a lot of you are still trying to figure out if this is something that you should still continue to, to, to be involved in, okay? And that's what I'm seeing as your challenge. Now, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Swords. You have the Page of Cups and you have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like something here uh, inevitably came to an end. Okay, Some, something here that was really toxic, something here that you didn't want to put up with anymore. A lot of you tried to apologize to this person or they tried to apologize to you, but it didn't seem to help or make the situation better here in the past. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups for Pisces in the recent past. You have the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Some of you, this person lied or cheated. And, you know, they were really on and off with you. And then they tried to come back and make an offer to you. And you tried to work things out with this person. But I feel like there was a lot of trust issues, a lot of trust lost in this situation. And this is why a lot of you um, have been trying to make the situation work. But it's been leading to nothing but conflict is what it's telling me here. Okay, so this is what I see happened here in the past. Now, in the present moment, there is an opportunity that's coming in for you. We're going to clarify that opportunity. Um, but first, I want to clarify the hermit. Why is the hermit here and what does Pisces need to know? 
you have the king of cups you have the seven of cups and you have the magician so i feel like for you uh in the present moment there's a lot of this contemplation right now about whether or not you should keep your options open some of you are choosing to keep your options open you're manifesting new opportunities or new options and they are coming in a lot of you are super emotional in the present moment about a situation that really affected you. And even though these options or opportunities are coming in, by the way, you're manifesting this, even though these options and opportunities are coming in, you're either ignoring them or you're not paying attention to them. Okay. It's like, you're not taking action towards this. And that's you at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more about the four of cups in the present moment for Pisces. So the four of cups is clarified by the knight of pentacles you have the nine of wands and you have the temperance so i feel for you in the present moment there's a really strong energy here of um somebody here taking their time and this is and a lot of you are expecting this person from the past to come back you're expecting this person to to you know because if there's a bunch of different offers coming in there are the offers that you don't want a lot of you want an offer from someone from the past you want to work things out with someone from the past but again no matter how much you try to work things out with this person from the past it seems like the issues keep arising and there's no solutions to the problem and this is why a lot of you are rejecting the other offers that are coming in because you're either you're single and you're looking for a specific offer and this specific offer that you've been looking for is not coming in or this could be the fact that a lot of you want someone from the past to come back and you've been waiting on this person to come back okay so tell me more about this opportunity in the present moment for pisces you have the strength you have the three of wands in the tower yeah so a lot of you, um, there is an opportunity for you. A lot of you are going to be traveling or you're planning to tra travel. Some of you need to find the inner strength to be able to step outside of your comfort zone. Okay. And the reason why the tower moment is happening in the present moment is because it's trying to force you out of your comfort zone so that you can broaden your horizons. And when you do broaden your horizons, that's when some sort of financial opportunity comes in for you. Okay. Now in the near future, you're disconnecting. This is very similar to, and I saw seven, seven on the clock when I said that some of you are disconnecting from a relationship a person place or thing family member friend take it as it resonates because you know that there's bigger and better opportunities for you outside of your little bubble okay you have the ace of wands the queen of pentacles and the higher font some of you are going to have um some of you are going to start a new relationship with someone over the next month and i feel like this person who's coming in could be an earth sign capricorn virgo taurus i'm getting a gemini here or an, or an aries um you may end up moving or disconnecting from a situation that's been very difficult for you and you may end up finding your soulmate you may end up finding the person that you know you're meant to be with forever um and this is because you're finally stepping outside of your comfort zone tell me more about the queen of pentacles in the near future for pisces you have the chariot, you have the nine of cups, and you have the two of wands. So I feel for you in the near future, there is a separation on the horizon. But the reason why the separation is happening, Pisces, is because a lot of you are starting to seek your happiness. Okay, it's been a very long time. You've been suppressing it. You've been wanting to um, broaden your horizons. You want, to, you want to move forward. So a lot of you are choosing to move forward and you're separating from someone. But I see even though you're separating from someone, you're meeting someone new or you're starting something new. Some of you are still going to be in a relationship with this person but i feel like you're disconnecting from them because you want to have some sort of new beginning that could be connected to your financial situation your job etc um so this is what i'm seeing for you let's clarify the king of pentacles so the king of pentacles is clarified by the queen of cups you have the ten of cups and you have the six of wands so in the near future, there's a lot of success that's coming in for you. And a lot of you are going to meet someone in an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I feel like this person that you're meeting is someone who is going to bring a lot of happiness and fulfillment to you. Okay. What you don't see coming, of course, the page of swords, you're still going to question, you know, everything because of whatever happened, the trauma that happened in the past. I still see you questioning everything because a lot of you are afraid of repeating some sort of mistakes connected to your past. But either way, now that you step outside of your comfort zone there's a huge opportunity for abundance love success and happiness because something here is no longer holding you back okay so let's get some advice what's the advice for you
You have the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Chariot. Your biggest piece of advice here is to move towards what is gonna make you happy, what's gonna make you feel fulfilled, not what's gonna make you half fulfilled. This is about you um, taking action, okay, needing to take action because opportunities are there now. It's about you identifying opportunities and moving forward. Um, this is also about you communicating what it is that you want. This is your biggest piece of advice because a lot of you um, may find yourself in a situation where you just, you know, move towards what you want without really saying anything. But the more you talk about it, the more you start moving towards it, the more likely it's going to happen. There's something here that you want, but it's only going to happen when you take action. If you're not willing to take action, if you're not willing to talk about it, manifest it and create it by putting um, certain things in motion to make it happen, then it's probably not going to happen. This is about you recognizing your role in a situation when it comes to manifesting and creating what you want and ultimately moving forward. Okay. So Pisces this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.